Hey, uh, welcome to Daily Sketch, March 25th, 2017. Um, let's see, 3, no, 2.09 in the afternoon in Olympia, Washington. So today I'm going to work on some bolts, maybe some rusty metal. I don't know. Let's see here. Let's find a color. Let's see. We'll select the color for our background, say like this tone right there. And we're going to make a big brush. We've got a, at 100% for the bristles. It means all the bristles in the brush and each bristle maximum size. So we can lay down with just a nice spray brush tone like that. Okay, that's our background. Then we're going to make some ridges like layers of metal put together and uh, different surfaces that I can do some stuff to. So first let's uh, cut some black lines in here on a diagonal just uh, for the heck of it. Let's uh, start here. We'll press with the brush. We come up back and forth a little bit then kind of darken that. But it's kind of irregular looking. Like so. And I'll make another one. Don't care if they're parallel, but it's better if they are. If you were doing something maybe metallic. So it looked like cleaner edges and stuff. We're not going to detail it to the max because I only have 10 minutes in these videos. There's another edge. And I'll do one more. And then we'll start to work these surfaces and put some bolts in and stuff. So let's cut another one across, just freehand on this, and then kind of going in the scoop. You can do it in Photoshop, drop down a rule, or however you want. But I'm working in Verve today, by the way. And rough edges are cool in metal. So next, let's uh, texture this a little bit with some rust. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go into my brush 8. I was in brush 1, just so you know. And let's see, brush 8... Yeah, and we don't want to be 100% uh, bristles, about 25%. And let's cut down to maybe 50-ish, the size of the things. And let's just lay down a few uh, pokey specks, some shapes, to rough up this metal surface. Scuffing it like... Just scuffing this with some deep ridges. <clears throat> First part of make this brush a little bigger. You can have some bigger scuffs. Can come across like that. And then come back down and give it some smaller chunky scuffy things. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to do some darker, work that into it, and a darker tone of richness, let's say here, and kind of do some of that in there. Maybe go big or don't go home. There you go. Just kind of scuff in there. Now, by itself like that, closely put together, could be wood planks with highlights and midtones and some shadows and stuff. Could be pretty cool. All right. I'm going to come back here and just scuff on this little uh, divot. I like this chunk missing. You can have chunks missing and stuff like that. Okay. Now, let's put some bolt heads in here. So, we'll run some on here. Let's say about, let's get the right, like that diameter. We won't go 100% black, but we'll go with something that's in contrast to the metal here. So we're going to do that in brush number one. And just like that. Let's get a piece of one. Okay, just some random there. I might have a big bolt here off like that. And I might have one 
here. And then I might have some random stuff here just for the idea. But we'll work up one. Okay. So let's start with one of these. Uh, let's start with this. Here's one. Let's use this one. Now I'm going to take a black and make a core shadow on this, what's going to be a screw head. So I'm going to kind of come a little less dense, a little less opacity, like that, make a core shadow in it. And I'm going to make a uh, highlight top, so kind of come brighter up here, kind of shaping that edge where the screwdriver would go in. It's been distorted over time. See that? And then I'm going to go even brighter, like up here, kind of fade that, a little brightness here. Then I would clean that up a little bit in the middle with a cleaner black edge. So maybe run that in here, just to clean that a little can't see it, you add more opacity, and then you can see it. And then you kind of just put that guy back in there. Again, this is deteriorated over time, so we kind of leave it rough. Now, if it was cast in a shadow on this surface below here, let's open this up, not so much density. Um, and spray a little shadow. Not too deep. You don't want it to look like a hole. Just like that. And then you're going to come with a, a sharp black on the edge of that. Maybe like that. Defines the surface. And then if I was going to pockmark it with another color, I'd go back to brush 8. Like so. Put some pittings in there. And uh, we could use even a blue, make this look cool, like some white is in the holes. And then I might, let's get this right. Fit this up, see? Some highlights. get along the edge like that. You could throw some white in there. Uh, maybe there's a peak here where it's hammered and smashed, a little dense. And surface here and then bend around into this space now. Get a nice highlight there. Just a suggestion of something there. Then I would go even to a really intense white, like a smashed part of a rivet. Uh, let's back that one little bit up. There we go. Just kind of on the top. And if I wanted to have that uh, smashed, I'd go to one and do almost a little bit of a solid right there. That's too much. So we're going to go smaller. About like so. And then like that. You know? So let's save what we got. First of all, before I forget to do that, we're going to save in verb. It's a dot brb. We'll call it rivets. Project. Even though I have no idea where I'm going with that. But I'm saving that to my desktop for you all to see there. Just so we don't lose it. And now that saves the equivalent of a ping file. You can have layers. And then if you really want to save this as a JPEG, you would save a JPEG, scale it, do whatever you want, manipulate it, put it into another project. But we've essentially created a surface that could be metal, it can be wood, put a rivet in it. Now, let's put some sh uh, shabby paint on there. Uh, so first we'll hit it with a light kind of a paint. Say there's some... Whoops. 
Yep, take opacity down, switch brush to 8. Didn't want to be in 1, that was okay. And then throw some paint on here. Check your density. You can go a little higher. Okay, Dave. Throw a little more paint on there. Now I see this line in there. You can rotate.